Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. Today we're going to take on a five skull mission, so let's have a look at our uh, mech bays real quick, just so we know what we're taking with us. So we managed to get the Wolverine back up and running. I'm really interested to see how this guy um, hits out here. We only have the stealth armor in it right now. I think we're probably going to pull the NSS from the Phoenix Hawk here uh, and drop it in. Um, we've also got the Shadow Hawk too. It's running regular stealth armor, but I think the Shadow Hawk... Um, we pull some stuff off this guy depending uh, on how good it is like the leg spike boost we may pull an extra one off and drop it in the Wolverine but I want to see how this guy's hitting first before we actually do that and then this Wolverine here we're going to replace the Phoenix Hawk with so we'll probably yank everything actually you know what before we do anything let's just do this we're going to take the Phoenix Hawk completely out of service right now uh, it's going to be replaced by this one which we're going to actually at the end of the, at the, end of the day today we're going to actually fix this guy up um, and also pull stuff out of the Shadow Hawk for this one, probably. So let's just pull this guy, uh, Phoenix Hawk, here out of service. Goodbye. Not really sad to see him go with only four laser points. He wasn't really, he was missing a lot with the large laser and stuff. So, but I'm thinking the uh, uh, extra 10 tons here from this um, Wolverine is probably going to really help out. So, I mean, it's got two ballistic, one laser, and three missile points. So, a couple extra hard points to play around with, plus one support point, which we didn't have on the Phoenix Hawk, so that's going to help too. So let's get our main lance going now, Command Center Contracts. So our goal today, um, we've got a couple of choices. We could do leave a mark, which is destroy a base, or we could do raiding, or is it raiding party? No. Uh, man manufacturing facility, which is capturing a base. Um, so I'm thinking leaving a mark to destroy the base is probably going to be maybe a little easier, and with 5 out of 21, um, I think we can get some good salvage out of this, maybe some good mech parts. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some higher end mech parts. Um, but before we take the mission, I think probably we should have a look at our bays here. Uh, I want to look in the storage just to see what we can take as parts. So let's have a look at the heavies because we're probably going to be facing heavies and assaults. So um, we got some Mad Dog parts. What else do we have here that we can finish up if we're lucky? Uh, Ryokin, I don't think they're going to have any of these, obviously, but we got six Rifleman parts. Uh, we do have, okay, so we got four Mad Dog parts, six Mad Dog parts, which they probably won't have. But we got six in total, so that's within range of taking. Uh, sorry, seven Mad Dog parts. Oh, we're almost finished that. That's nice. Uh, Archer, we've got three... Uh, what else here? So just the three? Yeah, three. Looks like three archer parts. All right, so we're not too bad there. So not much we can really do here. Assault wise, um, we do have a lot of parts. Three king, ca cr sorry, king crab parts. Six king crab parts. Uh, I don't know if the kraken is considered to be a king crab or not. Um, it might be completely different I'm not sure but there's we got six of those anyway um, Marauder 2 parts Highlander so nothing that we could really complete here unless like I said we if, we if we face a king crab and have two parts I'll take the two parts just to see if we can complete this otherwise we'll leave it out uh, Annihilator parts not too many We've got a couple of Atlas parts Naga Annihilator 2C Sasquatch I don't know what this is considered as but Stalker part. So not much here. So there's not much we can complete. So yeah, I just wanted to double check because we never know sometimes going in. Alright, let's do this. Looking forward to this. It's been a long time gearing up for this. So we're going to take... Where are you here? Uh, leave a mark. Destroy the base in the desert. Maximum salvage. All right, and there's our mainland. It's going to pull the Shadow Hawk out now, and let's bring our Wolverine back. Let's hope this guy works out really well, and we're going to deploy this sucker and get this thing done. All right, here we go. All right, we couldn't have got a better base mission, I think. Um... I like and dislike this mission for two reasons. One, if the turrets, if the walls underneath the base are 
lighter, lightly armored compared to the turrets. You can destroy these and destroy the turrets at the same time. Two, the reinforcements come in from generally back here. Two come from this side, two from this side. So there's a way you can just kind of avoid them. Uh, plus, because these walls are so high, if you get over here, you don't have to worry about four turrets shooting at you. You can limit it to a couple. And because these ones are close, if you destroy these two turrets, um, then you can just have to worry about the lance and not worry about the other turrets at the, at the same time. So that's just my two cents. All right, let's see how fast we are here. Uh, not bad. We're kind of moving pretty quick without the mask, so that's probably good. So let's get in here. How much evasion do we have here? Okay, not bad. With the NSS, it'll be one more. So pretty good, pretty good overall. So now we've got heavy laser turrets, 300 armor. But these walls, I only have 150. So this is what we're going to be shooting at. Um, since I've down to 10 ammo, we're not going to be firing the boomstick. But we are setting it up for the rest of these guys. Once we take the wall out, this the uh, turret is destroyed at the same time. Yep. So we're not going to use our missiles on the wall. But we will use our lasers. And yeah, we'll just fire everything. On Might be enough to destroy it. There's 120. Yeah, that's plenty. So there you go. Wall and turret gone. One left structure. Right, don't need to target the turrets on these ones, which is awesome. What do you need? Now, if we only had uh, ability to see the rest of these guys, which we don't, so we're going to reserve. And now their spotter's gone too, right? They can't spot us with, any, with anything. Oh, except uh, guys with increased sensors. 100 ton mech. What a wonderful. Yep. Let's get you into missile range. So the other thing about this one too is you've got places to hide back here. Right? You've got cliffs and stuff that you can move along and get behind. So that's the other possibility too, if you're worried about getting shot at. Me, you know, never really worried all the time. A lot of times about being shot at, get shot at a lot. So used to see a missiles whiz by my head and smash into my chest. Yeah, some direct plink plink. That's all you got. Oh, they got more. Trust me. They got more. Commander. All right, pylon. Want to see this one, please? Yeah, I definitely made a mistake between pylon and recall, uh, recoil. Um, both taking the uh, stealth pilot skill, or whatever it's called. I can never, I can never remember the name of the damn thing. Um, yeah, because now recoil really doesn't really have the same punch as it used to um, in this lance. So, I mean, we swapped out for Riddler here. But what can you do? All right, let's take out this other wall and turret. That should do it, no problem. So, I mean, we can take out the rest of these wall sections if we wanted to, but there's no reason to because that'll give their turrets a better chance to hit us. Okay, we're going to reserve. I want cold metal to move up. I want to see what this 100 tonner is. Um, interesting. Where do I want to be here? Probably here. See what we're up against. Okay, that's like a Marauder 2. Yeah, pirate version. Rotary AC5, heavy PPCs, two heavy machine guns. That's not good. Griffin 4N. Eh, not so bad. This guy's the guy I don't like, though. So. 
He did shoot. No, not him. Him. Fire everything on him. Oh. Really? I mean, I know I was taking a chance shooting that, but yep. still. Alright, doing the same thing. Gonna fire. I kind of like using the Warlord earlier in the battles. If we... Oh my god! How did you miss with that with 80 some... Oh man. Standing by. Uh, I like the, using the Warlord earlier in the battles. Um, as it gives us a chance to use it again later. If you, re if you really wait too long for it, you're only going to get a chance to use it once. And I prefer using it more than once in a battle if we can. Alright, what's this griffin doing? Think about it, buddy. There you go. Okay, at least the plasma lance missed. Well, it didn't miss the bridge if you can listen to the noise there. Yeah, he, <laughs> he flattened the bridge. Um... Hint, we're not taking the bridge to come and get you, dude. What do you need? Um, yeah, let's go back here. Want to stay at range. Fire on this guy again. Are you serious? That's twice the arrow missed. At 85% chance to hit. Oh, a catapult. He says as he gets plastered in the face by a ton of missiles. Ow. Losing armor. I'm receiving you. Roger. Yeah, I just walk behind this cliff. That's the other thing about these things, right? Now we've got defense from these guys, so. I'm gonna target this guy. Hopefully we can knock him down. Um and any significant damage anywhere? Does he have an XL? That's a lot of exchangers and a lot of heat banks. All his ammo's here. Engine, is it XL? Pirate engine, so we can't, I don't think we can destroy it. Let's just shoot him. Soften him up. Maybe we knock him down, I don't know. There's the knockdown. Lots of health, but he's, we got lots of time. We want to pull these guys away from the base now. Don't think he'll hit with these PPCs, but he might. There's the rotary. Not using the PPCs. Okay, we're moving away from the base. I'm gonna pull these guys back. Don't want to get in close with this guy and then have to deal with turrets at the same time. So we're gonna multi-target. And we'll just fire normally. Oh yeah, man. See, how do we hit with that at 35% chance, but the arrow system has got like 85 and can't even hit twice. Good luck with that. So this catapult is going to be our next target for Pylon. Receiving you. Because he's dangerous if we let him roam around here. I copy. So we're not going to do that. Putting my weight into it. Come on, hit him. And it looked like we did a lot there. Oh, not bad, not bad. Alright, the griffin's got to think about what he's got to do. She'd be penalized for not moving faster. So, I mean, you can play Battletech like a chess game if you want to. Uh, I got no problem with that. I just don't like... To, 
I don't like playing battle tech like a chess game, even though it's probably better to do that. I like taking my instincts and just deciding what I'm going to do. If uh, you know, if you watch my episodes, you pretty much get get that from watching them. But you know, if you think about it, really heat of battle, you're not going to be like chess gaming this. It's like these guys are doing stuff, and you got to make a decision right away, which is what I try and do. There's those odd times where you'll sit and you got you really got to think about it, especially when you know you're going to lose a mech, right? Because you don't want to, and it, especially in a series too, right? Like if I'm not playing a series, then generally I don't sit and think about it for far too long. But when you're playing a series, yeah. it's like the last thing your your uh, series watchers want is for you to be like playing the game, and then like you know you lose your most important mech, and it sets you back like ten or fifteen episodes, right? And it's just fr they, they missed again. That's three in a row. At 85%. Are you serious? Girl, you're killing me here. You want him to shoot me. And I can't sprint either. Alright, I think that's here where we're going to move. Alright, so it's this guy here we got to hit. We got to multi target, I guess, again. Here. And probably here again. And we'll just fire. See, that's how you hit. I'm being punished, you know, that's what it is. Okay, this guy should be unstable now. I'm being punished because, like, the last mission we were hitting with the arrow system all the time. Yes, Commander. Alright, pile on. Pile on this guy. Uh, we don't want to go from the back because they'll shoot us in the back, but we're going to try and knock this guy down. It's nice that the turrets can't shoot at us. Okay, he's going down. Nice head hit. Good. Not that it matters, though. I mean, he's got like six health. There's another hit. Ah, uh, that should be three. That should be three with the fall and the torso blow up. Come on. Cheaters. Oh, well. What's he doing? He's fleeing. I'll give it to them, though. They're staying and fighting, which is good. We're still probably going to have reinforcements after this, too, right? What do you need? All right, Hickory. Uh, we can't see the uh, crab now. Really? Commander? I need eyes on that crab, please. Thank you. All right, so let's target this guy in the side here. Dump everything straight into him. How much do you got left in the CT? Not a whole lot. I think we've been hitting them with the L. Uh, I think we've been hitting with the AC-20s and the CT. There he goes. Ah well. Not sure how much salvage we're gonna get out of that guy, but yeah, someone was telling me about the uh, about Robocop and the way that the um, I can't remember what it was. The Ed 2000s or wherever the the mech, the uh, the uh, main opposition to Robocop was. The way they would, you would destroy them and they would just kind of fall flat down and like basically onto their chins. That's exactly what those marauders look like when they go down. Okay, that guy's completely unstable now. Yep. Let's take advantage of that. Um, let's multi-target this. And put the arrow on B. See if we can take out the griffin. That's hitting just fine. This one? Oh, yeah, now you proved me wrong. 208 damage, though. Okay, you made up for it. Gonna move over here. Just target this guy straight out, fire everything. Wow. That was fast. Um, Pylon, just get up here for a second, please. Just wait for the rest of us to move up a little bit. Save a bit of heat. I'm ready. I want you on this side. Heading out. We're going to take these turrets down, but I want to do it methodically. I want to make sure they don't get shots at us, because if these guys get 
reinforcements, I want to make sure Copy that. that we're in a good position to take them on. Don't want to have loss of armor. If at all possible. Okay, pylon. Once we engage, we're engaged, so let's get in here. Yep. Okay, so we got okay, we got those rounds left. We can target this wall and we can fire our missiles. There it goes, so that tower should be gone, or the turret should be gone too. Gone. Yep. Next? And Riddler, let's get in. Maybe we can deal a death blow to this tower over here. Still a little bit unstable, but I'm not worried about that. Target this guy. Should have reinforced the uh, walls, guys. That one. Okay, it's just buildings now. It doesn't look like there's any reinforcements. Steal the death blow to these buildings and get out of here. Medium, medium, large, and medium. Yep, let's target the large. 200, we should be able to do that at least, I think. There it is, folks. First one down. And I don't hear any enemies showing up, so... Get into here. Interested to see how much the the boomstick and the spike wrecking ball does to the building here. Wow, that, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, so you do good do good damage against buildings. All right, target this one. Fire. Boom! Target destroyed. And Hickory, let's finish this sucker up and go home, girl. It's a stationary target now. The arrow should hit. All right, there we go, guys. First five skull, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, so increased by 35%. Not bad at all. Very little damage against us. I don't think I don't I don't qualify that as a five skull mission. That was pretty darn simple. These heavy PPCs are damn nice. Ten tons though for 100 damage, 55 heat uh, with a PPC capacitor, 115 damage. So those are possibilities to take. Rotary AC5 pirate, six rounds times 40. That's a possibility too. But I'm thinking that these three are going to really give us a good advantage. The heat bank is another possible. One ton, three slots, but like, look at what it gives us. Um, those are all great. Oh, and a targeting computer. Yeah, double double load of LRM ammo, not really needed. Um, although I'm thinking we'll get rid of the lower exchanger, and we will take this uh, rotary five pirate. I got a feeling this is going to come in handy. It's somewhere down the road. Like, I mean, six shots of 40 damage, possibility of 240 damage, eight recoil though. But we got to give it a whirl. We got to try it out. So let's do that. We only got one router part though. All right, let's confirm this. One, two, three, four catapult pieces and a griffin piece. Um, two ER mediums, both heavy PPCs, both heavy. <laughs> Pirate machine guns, MRM-30. Are you kidding me? Case 2. Uh, what else do we get here? Arm, AC ammo. Okay, that is a awesome random roll. That went really, really well. So I, I'm really happy about that. All right, guys, 81,000. Not bad for repairs. I think since that mission was so quick, Let's pull off another five sculler really quick here before the end of the episode. So let's manage our tasks a little better here. Uh, Warhammer, yep. 
uh, Zeus five days. That's good. Quickly get these guys repaired. Go through the financial report. Six hundred thousand, not bad. Okay, and we need the Warhammer back still, so five days. There we go. All right, let's get on this mission now. So let's take another one here. The first one was a little easy for five skulls. Let's go do um, capture base, manufacturing facility. Let's do this one. Negotiate, and we'll go this way. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Well, you know what? It's inner sphere stuff. Well, meh, salvage. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Okay, we got to move up, capture this facility, and hang on to it. And I don't know. I don't think I played on this map before either. Interesting. I'm sure I have though. Just don't remember it. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna take the two guys on the right here, since they're pretty much straight up in this lineway here. Uh, and force these guys on the left to come around. Yeah, let's do that. Roger. See what we're up against here. A couple of mediums, a couple of assaults. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Ready for orders. Yeah, we don't want to turn our backs to a potential attack. See what these guys do here. I don't think they've got turrets up here, so I'm not well they might. I've been sensor locked. Actually no they don't, because we would detect this one right here, so I think we're alright. Can we get eyes on? We can kind of. Ooh, we can here too. Don't know if we'll be able to shoot though. But we can use the arrow system. What do we got, Griffin? Just fire the AC on him. Nice. 80 tonner, okay. Could be a Zeus. Meh. Can we get... Yeah, we can't get eyes on. So we're going to go down into the valley a little bit here. Might as well. Roger. So at least they can't get eyes on us. That's pretty good. Pretty good percentage there. Nice! Solid hit. How'd that taste? No knockdown, though, so it's okay. Wow. Well, he keeps jumping around, it'll be an easy knockdown next turn. We're gonna punch this guy right in the face. Wow, 84 left CT. Another Griffin. I still remember the very first uh, Battletech game we ever played. We were rolling for to see what mechs we got. Commander. I ended up with a, um, I believe it was a Griffin. It was either a Griffin... Yeah, I know, thanks. It was either a Griffin or a Shadowhawk. Pretty sure it was a Griffin, though. That looked like that was a CT hit. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it was, he's dead now, anyway. Okay, we're up one. See what they do here. Uh-huh. Trying to change targets, that's good. Well, not good, but at least it's in a, he's in a position where we can shoot on him. Let's move into the trees here. Might as well engage. And we're gonna leave the mediums off, fire the rest. We can get direct sight on this guy. 
So we're going to take it. Got to move to where we can see the front. Um, we're just going to fire the th one Thunderbolt. Yeah. Yep. 85 tonner. Okay. Ooh, Goss Rifle. And an SRM. Alright, we'll be finding out what they got here in a second. Let's just dump everything into this guy and fire it all. Yeah. So that AC is beginning to prove it's worth now. It's hitting a lot, so... Unfortunately, I don't think our Wolverine can get over and hit this guy. It'd be nice if we could find another mask system, but... Not too many higher... Oh, pretty baby. Is that pretty baby? Thunderbolt? No? What is this guy? Awesome? Based on an awesome chassis, I guess? Sure. Yeah, we don't have quite enough. We can hit with both here. Let's see if we can knock this guy down. On the move. Full speed. Lots of chevrons of evasion. I think we'll probably be okay there. Roger. No, still past the stability check. Let's see if he jumps. Yep. Committing suicide, pretty much. Oh. Sorry to hear about that guy. Standing by. Um. Let's do this. Get our stability back. Try and dust this guy. What do we got back here? A stalker? Oh, another misery. Causing a lot of misery for me, that's for sure. Um, this guy have an XL engine? He does, I think. He does. So that guy's going to be a little, little easier to kill. We could remove this guy from the board. Four. Does he have an XL? No, he does not. But let's try and get rid of this guy. Engaging. Wow, pretty stable. Oh, nope, he's not. Okay. Now, let's bring the misery some misery, you think? Yeah. Let's warlord this sucker and fire on the misery. Nice. Yeah, forcing him to move first. Nice shooting, buddy. Good shooting. So how, we got the arm and the torso in this guy. What's he got in here? Two medium lasers. Where's his Gauss rifle? Other arm? Nope, torso right here. Okay. Okay. Let's get over here and We could lose the arm of this guy. Let's multi. Let's let's warlord this sucker. And oh, we can't multi-target. That's right. So we're just going to target this guy straight out and fire. Okay, he's nice and unsteady. Good shooting, dude. Good shooting. 
We still got to claim this base, and hopefully there's no re no reinforcements after this. Okay, pylon. A little bit of payback for that uh, last attack. Nope. Like this, and this, and this. Yeah, knock his ass on the ground now, please. Okay, there goes the arm. Inflicted some heavy damage. And a knockdown. We didn't finish the griffin up. Not really that worried about him. He's almost done. We'll be should be able to finish him up this turn. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's only getting up, is he? Oh, that's right, because he shut down. That's right. I will be done. Nope. We need to get to here. On the way. Double time. Time for your warlord. Dumping everything straight into the side of this guy. Just gonna fire. Get started on him. Yeah. That's still a pretty darn good chance to hit. So we're gonna move over here. We're gonna try and finish this guy up if we can. We won't be able to, but we're gonna do some good damage. Just target this torso. Oh! We missed with one. <laughs> What's that laugh for? You only hit with one, girl. Well, you hit the torso. Oh, it's down to two. Ooh. What's he gonna do here? Besides, not much. You're drunk, misery. Go home. Get over here. Love how fast this guy is. Uh, we're going to make sure we have our stability okay here. And we're going to multi-target this out. This guy. And this guy. And all that will go to B. Well, that's a pretty bad chance to hit. Really? What about C? That's a little better. Let's go this route. Okay, got his torso. Nice. All right, let's see what their griffin does. Oh no, sorry, this guy's still gotta go, that's right. Melee attack, huh? Suppose that's better than taking a full on assault from this guy. I've got eyes on hostile reef. Of course you do. They're heading your way. See on if we can way. get rid of this guy. Targeting for physical attack. These guys have to die before those reinforcements get here. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, there's a knockdown. That should be three out of four, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, he's on a one out of four. Okay, where are the reinforcements coming from? That's what I want to know. Mm hmm. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Not gonna let me get beside that guy. Or behind him, that is. Could do the stalker in though. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where I move here. Oh, I can get behind the griffin though.
Yeah, let's just go here. Fire straight on this guy. Nice. Okay, there goes the arm. Now we just gotta claim that torso. So Riddler. Let's get into here. And everything into the side of this guy. Hopefully we can get rid of this torso and that should be it for him. That should do it, I think. Yeah. Okay, this guy's down. Okay. Seven rounds up with the arrow. We're going to take it and fire on this guy. Okay, only one hit. Still a nice big solid chunky hit though. 141, not bad. Oh, thank goodness for the misses. Okay, so this should go down easy now. Alright, they got some heavy guys coming up here. Probably from back here somewhere. Let's cool off a little bit. Let's just come straight in here. Mm, we better... Yeah, no. Yep. No, yep. Right here. Yeah. May look like we're turning our back to the stalker, but we have two guys to go before him. I thought for sure we would have killed that guy. Enemy flanking. I let him flank. Won't matter here in a second. Now we can either multi-target this guy. Yeah, we will. So the uh, Thunderbolt on B. So that's the last arrow we can use down here. Okay. So that guy's gone. Commander? Let's do some burrowing Wait. now. Straight through the side of this guy. Okay, there we go. Alright, so all we gotta do is get some heat back. Yeah, they got some assault boys up there. So we gotta get up to the top now. Don't want to give them the high ground if we can avoid it. Too late. Okay, so let's get them into a funnel then. We gotta funnel them into one spot. Enemy detected. Don't know their weight yet. Commander. No, they're both assault mechs. Okay. I want you to be able to see these guys from over here. I'm your spaniel. All in ass. Maybe it is only two. You know, why do I open my mouth? Why? Maybe it's only two. Yeah, right. We gotta pull these guys down one at a time. There's four of them up there. Yep, sensor locks. Gotta love it. They're gonna plink us to death unless we get up there. Five arrows is not going to be enough. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Just 
Still don't know the weight. They're probably all assaults. I guess they are. Yeah, they are. Four chevrons under assault. Wonderful. We got to get into the forest over here. Well, at least she's braced. Huh. I say we can't stay down here. 95 tons. Banshee maybe? Hope it's not a melee mech. 100 tonner. Eighty tonner. Okay, it's not too bad. Um Can we afford one more turn to bring them down here? If we can get these guys into here, we might be able to kill them before these guys get into play. Probably thinking that's probably the best thing to do. So let's move you pile on back here. Affirmative. What do you need? All right, full speed. Let's get over here. I'm here. I got a lock on. Stop me. doing that. Hoping I'm hidden enough here. Okay, victim number... Nope, that's number two, I guess. I think 80 tonner is going to be victim number one. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. It's not working out. The 80 tonner has got to come forward. Nope. Going the other, oh, he's backing up. Okay. Don't want to get too far up. I'm going to brace here. See what they do. I've been sensor locked. Of course you have. Uh Yes, commander. I'm locking here. Okay, here he comes finally. Where is this guy? Armor's getting stripped off. I saw that, but what is this guy? Elite Outrider. It is a Banshee model. Nearly 81. Where do we take the damage? Arm damage. Okay. Um, he's giving us his back. So... Let's take it and run with it. What do you say, guys? Okay, one down. I bet you they're upset about that.
He did some good damage, though, I gotta say. Okay, he's bracing the forest, so it's only one point damage, not a big deal. Plus, he's got the combat shield, which yeah. reduces it again. So, that's good. Understood. Moving fast. I think that combat shield's really helping out. At least it seems to be, anyway. Haramoto Chi. Okay, he chose the right target, thank you. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, well, you won't be having minor damage in a minute here. So this guy's up on the platform now, which means we cannot get to... Commander? We gotta attack him from here. Actually, this is... in the trees, which might be a better attack. 97, 93. No, it really is from here. Let's do a phantom mech on this. Don't know how well this phantom mech is working, but we're going to do it anyway. On my way. Locked on for physical attack. 78. Not a bad attack, I guess. Okay, how unstable is this guy now? Not that unstable, but it was a good CT hit. All right, Hickory. What do you need? I need two things. I need a Warlord. And a non-moving offensive push to the CT. Please and thank you. And fire. Let's hope we get it, guys. Ah. Did we hit the CT though? That's my question. We did. Nice, juicy CT hit. Okay, we're gonna walk up. We really need to do this. Warlord again. Offensive push, CT. Let's try and finish this guy up. CT, CT guys, come on! You did see what happened to the last guy that did that, right? Supporting heavy fire. What's up, buddy? Welcome to my Alpha Strike. Somebody had a lot more back armor this time. You guys jerk around doing that, that's fine, I don't mind. It's not gonna save this Hatamoto Chi. Reporting. Heavy damage. Orders. Nope. Uh reserve. Orders. Rolling. Let's get our stability back. Let's give this guy the what for. Okay, Pylon. Can you give me eyes on somebody here, please? It's a hundred tons. That's not going to be enough. Evasion. That's a ton of evasion. What do we got here? Kaiju. Great. Ride the boombox at him, please. Yep. What do we got? Got a few missiles left. Just gonna fire him. Actually, this guy can see us from there. That's a lot of PPCs. Actually, I don't think he can, actually, so I'm not worried. Well, let's get some evasion before we fire. Let's move back a little bit in case he walks up to the edge there. Got a feeling he's going to go for um, pylon anyway. Let's fire normally. Well, at least we hit with one. They got a sensor lock on me.
Huh. Let's just plink them. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I saw that coming. It's okay though, we needed eyes on. He's not gonna be there for very long. Just gonna reserve. Waiting for my opening. We ain't getting it from back here. Don't need to move, just gonna drop these onto him. Wow, another miss at 80%. What's up, boss? Let's reserve you. See what they do. Take time thinking about it, buddy. Please tell me you didn't crash. Oh, come on. Oh, that was lucky. I thought we had crashed for sure there. That's a lot of freaking missiles. That's either missiles or a rocket launcher build. I'm taking internal damage. Yeah, I was taking internal damage just watching that. Okay, so he's overheating. Um, Receiving you. Affirmative. See what this guy does. Good luck with that. Wait. Oh, we can see the guy from here. We're gonna vigilance so we can move before him. Look at those chances to hit, man. Let's go after this torso. Nice shot. Okay, Ultra 5 crit. And yeah, we go before you, buddy. Let's reserve pylon. I don't think we can get a direct line of sight on this guy from back here, unfortunately. Going to walk out of the open though. A little bit better chance to hit from out here. We've only got two of the uh, arrows left. Just going to fire it. Nice shot. Now he's completely unstable. That was an arm hit I think. Yeah. Two PPCs crit, Ultra 5 crit. I'm ready. Nowhere to see that guy from? Let's pull out here. Rotter 2. Yeah, all the rocket launchers are gone. Okay. So in a way, that's kind of good. Target this guy in the side. Dump everything into him. Firing a full salvo. Okay, there goes one side. Hit, Knock down. Good to go. Oh, you don't quite have the range to get in there, do you? Damn. 
Uh, nope, you're not going first then. We still have eyes on from here if I don't move. Oh man, let's go for a CT strike. We gotta get rid of this guy. Well, 92 in the leg. But he's got two PPCs if he gets up though, right? Chance to hit is pretty low, but... Yeah, let's get rid of him. I'm just gonna use... I'm gonna save Warlord for the next uh, guy, but we're gonna, just gonna target this guy CT. Okay, we got one left. Let's see what he does. Oh. Gonna reserve. Is that a melee attack? Okay, at least it was only 60. Waiting for orders. You can't actually get on that guy. Really? He's a big boy, but we're going to take him down. Orders. Get on him now, though. Let's do it. Locked on for physical attack. Okay, knock him down. Ready for order. So hard to knock this guy down. Got it, Commander. Stability back. Everything in this guy's backside using Warlord. Just gonna fire. Got it, Commander. Okay, nice. Scored a critical hit. So this was a little bit better of a test than the last time. All right, last arrow. Let's do it. That should be a knockdown. My yep. Is empty. That's okay, girl. You've done your job. See what he does here. Probably going to be a melee attack. Nope. Good shooting, man. Well, I didn't move, so... Better be good shooting. That's a tough call. I don't know where I would have moved to. I have no idea where I would have moved to there. Okay, I'm just going to Vigilance just in case we don't kill this guy here, but uh, I'm going to burrow through his side. There we go. So all we got to do is claim the base now and we're done. So that was good. that was a good mission. I like that one. Yes, Commander. All right, you can get up there. Cool. Roger that. We are done. All right. I'm there it is, folks. Mission successful. All right. So that was two five skull missions in a row. Three hundred seventy-nine thousand. I'll be interested to see how much we have to pay out. Probably about one hundred and fifty at least. Zeus took some damage, Warhammer took some damage, Wolverine, we knew that Wolverine was going to take damage only simply because he's lightly armored compared to everybody else, but uh, did what he did well overall. Lots of experience. Alright, lots of parts here. Don't think we can really take anything because we don't have anything we can finish up, but we'll leave that. Triple plus large laser. Ooh, plus 10 damage, evasion pips ignore, but it's got 38 heat on it, so not as good as a PPC. Medium laser is kind of nice. These PPCs are nice. What else do we got down here? Endo steel we don't need. We got tons of this already still, right? Yeah, seven. Pharaoh, we got tons, seven. Fusion core, 300. We don't have any 300s. Double heat sinks, meh. Any special ammo? Not really. Okay, so let's take some weapons here. Um, like that medium laser for sure. God, I hate to do this, but I'm going to take two of these PPCs. Although these things are nice too. Plus two damage. 
They don't really have any SRMs with bonus damage. Minus one accuracy, though. Eh, I mean, we could offset it with an Artemis system, but... I'm gonna take those. And probably the Fusion Core for cash. Let's just do that. And see what we can get from mech parts here. Okay, one, two, well, one Banshee part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Griffin parts. So I don't know how many, if we have another Griffin part in there somewhere, but about a two part, Stalker part, ER large, we got that large laser. Pharaoh, okay, we did okay on that. 151,000, okay, a little more than I thought, but that's, uh, that's actually not bad. All right, so there you go. Two episodes, or one episode totally with two uh, five skull missions. Um, yeah, I think, think that turned out quite good comparison. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here. We'll get back into doing all the other stuff in the next episode. Um, so if you like this episode, drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe. Add some comments in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.